It's beautiful. It's like a butter colour. These are the colours. The colours. Hello everyone, welcome to the last part of this vlog. So it's been about two months since you last saw us. It's been really busy. We were meant to come back before, but everyone's been really busy. So um mum's back and you're seeing Dr. <laughs> you're seeing Dr. Marwa, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna get out because I'm um to have a quick look at the catch up. So you've had your jaw done, that's really settled. Sure. And then I think you're gonna, well. I'm here, some work done there. And then um, Dr. Marwa is going to finish her off today. So, um, that's my outfit of the day. Off we go in Harrods. She said I won't be back in a while. So we're back with Dr. Marwa again and lovely Nadine. So Sunspots randomly here and there, and I think with the IPL we'll be able to get rid of all of them. And then on top of that, straight after that, we'll do the resurfix, which is the only fractional non ablative laser in the world. Um, and they work really well together. You have very little downtime, maybe one a couple of days of just some redness and visible swelling, but the effects of it are phenomenal. Um, we'll do a little bit around the eye area just to get rid of these wrinkles and just tighten the skin. Um, so yeah, we'll change the settings of, um, according to which area we're treating. So we'll do the hands exciting. Yeah. Does this one hurt? Um, I wouldn't say it hurts. You you do feel it. Um, we don't use numbing cream for, for safety reasons because we want to know how you're responding to it. I think the first couple of shots um, are the ones which you you get used to. So Is it similar know, feeling to what I had? Like um, uncomfortable but not I painful? Think discomfort rather than pain. Okay. Um, you, we definitely wouldn't do it if it, it was unbearable. It's You've still, got a high pain threshold, yeah. I think. Well, you gave birth to I me, think so. It's the first couple of <laughs> shots where you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And then after that, you, you just get used to it. Everyone just, I don't expect any worse. Already packed a bags, call the cab, made space. And she said, I want to when you're lonely. I guess I'll let her go. Never mind. Okay, so I ended up having a little cheeky top up. I had just some Botox here. I had a very tiny amount in my lips and very tiny amount in my nose. It's slightly lifted. I love the nose filler because it's so instant. I had numbing cream on my face, so I'm not speaking very well. And when I come to Harrods, I meet so many of you and I was uh, really numb speaking to a couple of you, so um, ignore that. But. How's it feel? Really good. Didn't not hurt. red? Not red Oh yeah, did it hurt? No, only just around my nose. Um, I can see already the... Don't touch too much. Um, redness here's yeah. gone. I thought you'd be red, but you're not. Yeah, all this. It already looks tighter, yeah. isn't it? It feels tighter. And the effects are going to be more over the next couple of days. And so. I've got all the lines, look, and it feels so much plumper. So here, by your nose, the red is on this side. It's already, no, look that way. Yeah, it's already gone. Yeah, yeah. And all and around your nose. Yeah. Are she, you happy? Yeah, and she was so lovely. Yeah, she's so yeah. lovely. The girl she looks amazing. Here. Oh yeah, Nadine. She, yeah, Nadine, she was so patient. Really, really lovely girl. 
Um, yep, yeah, so mum's got one more treatment. She's having the tightening, well, that she's just had. One more treatment, and then we can show the full before and after. Yeah. And now mum wants to go to Zara. Um, Honoré and Paris are in the park. So mum's just gonna go to Zara, and then we'll go meet them in the park. Mum said she wants a puffer. We've tried on about 105, and I think this is the one. This is a small, do you need a big one? No. No. It's for the park, the one eh? I did buy her a barber one. What's the barber one? Is it not warm enough? It's lovely, but it's not warm enough for winter for the park. So this one do you think's warm enough? Is it real leather or not? It must no, be fur. Should we get that one then? It's nice, isn't it? Hi everyone. Um, I'm on the middle of Marleybone High Street, so I'm not going to do a big introduction. Um, I'll do it when I'm like in private, but I'm going to have a quick meeting with Theory and then we'll catch up after. So light and you know I've been on the hunt for a perfect tea this is actually called perfect tea it, the, it feels literally perfect show me it's so nice do you like it boo-boo it's beautiful yeah. is it your favorite Oh, giving it kisses. Ah. Uh, he loves that one. Feels like cashmere. No. Thank you. Hello. It's been a day. Finally getting time to catch up with you. Um, the sunset is just coming. Oh, you can't really see it. It's washed out. So, um, what happened today? It's been back. Back. I had the photo shoot with a brand um, with Frame, one of my favourite denim brands, and they just take me by surprise every single year. Did you see that Ritz collection? So amazing. Um, anyway, short a project with them. Then I had a meeting. Then I popped into Theory, and how that come about is my mission for perfect T-shirts. And I'm so happy that I'm literally I found you the perfect one so that's how that started picked up a few pieces um, before I show you do you think I chose this or this it was like a buttercream puffer and a trench so completely different so guess which one I got I'll show you when I got home get home um, then I rushed a sandwich down my throat in the car and now I'm having my last meeting of the day there's people going I'm going to have to walk because there's so many people um, Today is a meeting and you know I said I'd start sharing some more things of um, everything else that I do. This is like a, like a marketing meeting. It's a very, very formal, professional kind of meeting. My bag's on this arm so I'm like shaking. Um, let's go in the corner here because I'm... Um, my Joe and the juice up there, probably going to fall off. It's like slanted, is it going to survive? That's my only drink for today, it's terrible. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, so this is like a, it's like a finance thing, so the way I see things is marketing is marketing, you use similar strategies, obviously it's completely different and um, it's going to be very interesting for me to have a meeting with the finance and it's very, very well known. Um, so I'm very interested to say, I'm looking around because I just, it's because I'm conscious when I'm vlogging in the street. So yes, very interesting for me. I'm going to get a look at something completely out of my comfort zone, but I think it'll be very interesting. Very, I'll learn a lot. So completely out of my comfort zone at the moment. I just to, uh, normally I wouldn't vlog this, but I thought it's so important to let you see like my everyday today. Every time I see a bus go past, I'm seeing if, um, if our faces are on there. So yeah, normally I wouldn't share this but I'm just showing you something completely different. So I've spent like my whole day doing like influencer jobs and now I'm going to be doing this. Um, just to meet them, see if it's a good fit for both of us. 
and I'm also 10 minutes early, which is why I'm vlogging. I have literally kept the same outfit on. I picked this up in theory, this uh, jumper, and I wasn't going to wear it, but I was actually really cold. Um, and it's so nice, like a really nice layering piece. I changed my trainers to my church's boots, which I love so much. And then more of a formal coat. So I'm still me, still like really casual in a pair of jeans because I'm here for like, you know, still marketing. Um, I'm not a banker, so I am who I am. And I'm gonna go in. It looks so beautiful. Let me try and, nope, it's not having it, but can you kind of see the sunset coming? We'll catch up at home. I'll show you the bits that I got from Theory, which will probably be, it'll be late at night, but I'll show you when I get home. Hello everyone, welcome back to the second half of this video. So I hope you enjoyed seeing um, the final results of my mum's vi visit with Dr. Marwa. Um, if you do follow me on Instagram, I will be sharing some before and after photos because I know that that was some feedback from the last time. Um, so hopefully the footage and pausing and screenshotting the footage is enough and then head over to my Instagram and I'll try and find the before and after shots for if that's what you, um, you think is gonna help you more, that's fine. It's so hot and sunny today and I've got a wall blazer on and a wall polo on so as you'd seen from the footage it's gonna be quite a long vlog actually and I've taken on board your feedback that you'd like unboxings and vlogs separately as of today after this video I will do that um, I'm going to show you what I picked up in in theory and um, what I picked up in Louis Vuitton so you can already see it here so theory I've been a huge fan of theory can't remember what I said to you before um, there used to be a, a department in Harrods called Designer Studios back in the day and it was all our favourite room yeah, on the team, the fashion specialist team, because it was like really luxurious brands but not as out of reach as brands like, you know, Bauman and Miu Miu, as much as I loved it and it was a really young demographic in that room so I spent so many hours in this room and half of it was theory so I've been a huge fan from the moment they came to the UK and you'll find with theory it's very classic very on trend at the moment with how minimal everything is but it's a go-to place if you're looking for classic pieces good quality a um, little bit pricier than the high street but I would say it's high-end high street um, classic quality and good value for money for the quality because it's high-end high street and not I wouldn't say it's in that you know it's not luxury like Bauman or something so I've been on the hunt for the perfect trench and if you are looking for a good quality tr trench coat that is um, like actually warm because trench coats are a bit they're a bit awkward aren't they and I'm going to do a whole styling video on trenches um, I've got a super luxury one and this one and then one that's more of a fashion one so three kind of trenches I've actually got quite a few leather trenches and you have to find the particular weather for them because they're not warm they're too hot for summer so they're quite awkward but I think you all need a trench in your life and that video will come so what I like about this one is that it's lined with jersey so it actually has some warmth in it the jersey lining was a real selling point for me and also the, the contrast and the sporty kind of look I've just I it steamed this and I've noticed there's a, a water spot if you ever get that by the way we're steaming just stab it with like a wet flannel and it will completely come out so this for me is the best example of a trench that I found that it's good value and good quality it's the cheapest trench I have found in this quality so I picked this up in a size bigger than normal UK 12 but I actually think I would have liked a 14 and had it really oversized uh, but you can see from the cutaway it's a very classic fit nothing busy or fashion um, fashion element about it in terms of like I don't know oversized or something that doesn't make it as classic so for me it's a very good option for a trench and I found that with a lot of theory pieces classic and good quality so that's the trench if you're looking for one at a good price point now I wanted to speed on to this because you know that if you've been watching me for a while I've been on the hunt to chat and a challenge to find the perfect tea and although this is my second one I actually bought one of these I bought so many white teas but I can't tell you it's the perfect tea until I've worn it a few times and washed it a few times and ironed it otherwise I can't give you a proper um, evaluation so 
this was one of the best perfect tees again from theory everything that i said before classic fit classic cut high-end quality but the prices are reasonable this is actually called the perfect tee and so and when i was there i said oh it's the perfect tee and they were confused because they were like yeah it's called the perfect tee anyway so it's quite a boxy classic fit but it's not oversized it really is a perfect tee and they do this in um i'm sure i saw it in black for me, the price is £85, but for me, it washes like new. And whenever I buy a high street one, like Zara, for example, they feel all crisp and lovely, and then they just go. Like, I had one that I literally put it on a raised drawer because it shrunk that much on a 30-degree wash, laying flat, not even in the tumble dryer. So you're better off investing in one T-shirt like this and just constantly washing it. So although £85 for a white tee is like, ugh it's worth it in the long term and cost per wear so there you have it guys perfect tea i found some others like laura piana i think is amazing but the the price point is very high and i felt like i owed you something that was not as high price point and you know we all know laura piano is sensational quality that's the builder downstairs doing the coving looks amazing so one perfect tea everything will be linked below and then i also picked up this I also picked up this jumper, um, and I actually echo felted wool, I love felted wool. So although I haven't worn this, when I picked it up it was freezing, and I ended up changing my coat and then putting this on underneath because it was the only jumper I had. So I have actually worn it with the label, and I do that all the time, and then I go out and forget to take the labels off all the time. Um, but yeah, felted wool, it's just a really lovely boxy shape, it looks really lovely with nothing underneath and like a really nice t-shirt, um, t-shirt, would look good with the t-shirt as well, I was going to get to that, but a really nice statement necklace or some layered dainty necklaces, it's not too low, the v-neck, it's, um, just, just right, and then they've got this raw hem, like inside out hem, which I really like, has a bit of detail to the minimal look, and as you can see from today, one of my favourite colours to lay out is beige on beige on beige on beige on beige. So that would look really nice with that, even with jeans. They just do classics so well. So if you haven't heard of Theory before, this is the store in um, Marleybone, as you saw. Um, but they also are in department stores and online as well. So that's what I picked up in Theory. I'm trying to get through this because I know you've already had a big vlog before this. Now... I'm doing a Hermes bag unboxing after this as well. I know I've only just got an Hermes bag, but you're going to want to watch this one. And on Friday's video, I'm hosting a live show with Luxury Promise this Friday at 7pm UK time. It's all stuff that's been curated and bought by me, so you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, tune in onto my next video on Thursday to see some of the pieces um, and a new Hermes bag. But also, I'm going to come out of it now we are giving away now you're gonna to have to find out on thursday i think but think of your dream bag the bag that every girl and probably some boys want the ultimate bag which is worth a fortune we are giving that away in a classic black color so tune in on thursday's video subscribe to find out what the bag is and we will be um sharing all the details as well on the live show but you have to be following myself and luxury you promised to enter that's pretty much it. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to leave you with the unboxing of what I bought in Louis Vuitton and then I'll answer all the questions that I've had over on Instagram. So I got the uh, LV monogram agenda. This is A5, the larger size. So many questions about the size. Get what suits you. I like a bigger diary. I like lots of room to write. I, if I ever need my diary, I'll take, you know, my Birkin 30, my Kelly 32, something that it fits in. I even would have it like this. So size-wise, get what suits your lifestyle. But this is the large A5. So many questions about the inserts. And let me save you some time. Now before I share about the inserts, I found so many cool niche little businesses that do inserts and I think they're fabulous. People like me that like stationery and things like that, it's amazing. However, I did feel like personally for me, and I did, I did even reach out to a couple of them and had a chat about planning some things, but 
when I put everything in my car, one came to £127 and one came to £167 and I just thought it wasn't worth it for something that's like an insert paper for a year. That's more than like my Smithson's diary that I used to buy. So for me, I didn't feel like it was worth it. I then went on Etsy, which is my go-to place for anything like this, and most of them I found, they didn't have the dates, which for me is totally and utterly useless. I do not get that. So I thought, I'll go to Trusted Amazon. I do not work with Amazon, although like whoever works with them, I, you know, it's such a go-to place. I love it. I'm on it every day. And I picked up the most amazing insert diary um insert sorry for 10 pound and then uh, i bought it with these which were like 15 pounds alone these tabs and it has dated i'm going to show you my business here you go and that for me has enough space normally with my smiths and one i like a day per date but um it does make your diary really really thick so and um I looked really quickly and I couldn't find one, but I'm really happy with this. And then I've also ordered um, some really amazing bits on Etsy and Amazon. I ordered one where it's like a little pocket and I want to put some things in there like business cards, um, not for my, my blog, don't worry, I'm not gonna give out my YouTube on Instagram, like the other stuff that I do. It's when I'm going to meetings and work events, it's really handy to have, um, this and also I wasn't going to tell you this but I'm going to I've been wearing so many of my Rousseau samples just to like well just because I love it I'm designing stuff that I really want to wear um so I'm just gravitated like, oh yeah I really want to wear these trousers blah, blah blah and also to test uh the, the quality and if there's any problems and every time I wear something someone comes up to me and asks me and I tell them it's my brand and instead of just spelling it out I just want to have little cards that I can give it to them and I don't know whether that's a bit weird but that's what I'm going to do. So I bought some little put like pochette pockets, zipper pockets, and checklist to put in there. So still carrying on about the diary. Um, one other thing I wanted to say is I really feel like this is, you know when you buy a new gym kit and you feel really inspired to go to the gym? I feel like that with this. And I don't think it's too overpriced because, um, yes, it's pricey at the beginning, but you'll literally have this forever. And then all you have to do is buy it by the £10 inserts every year. So cost per use, I do think this is such a good buy. And whilst we're talking about being inspired to organize and plan the diary, I picked up the Manifest book, which is it's by Roxy, who is a, we have a lot of mutual friends, Roxy and I, so I often bump into her at events and when I'm with our mutual friends. She has the cutest little boy, by the way, like it's worth following her, of course, for the positivity and wellness, which is what she's all about, but her boy is so cute. He's called Wolfie and he's just the most adorable. Um, I've actually booked my first holiday in two years, like proper holiday, so I am saving it for that, but I've been having a little, oh look, there's the um, dedication to her son, like it literally makes my heart melt. Um, I didn't want to get the, um, what do you call it? Amazon Fire, I've forgotten what it's called, the, the thing where you, the audio and it's totally gone out of my mind. I love the feel of a book and I really loved The Secret like so many of us love. I still refer to it and I feel like that this is the next that and I just love the way that it feels. I, lo I was pleasantly surprised by how small it is which I love because it's something you can carry around with you. And no offence to anyone, because sometimes it's the perfect fit, but I really love that Roxy didn't put like her whole face on this. No offence to people that do, like as I say, sometimes it really works, and I just feel it speaks a lot about her character, that she hasn't plastered her face on this, so that it's like about her. This is about the people that read it, she wanted it to be like on your coffee table, um, and I really love that, because I feel like there's something about the orange, and uh, let me just show you against my new bag. So I'm very into orange at the moment. And you know I've said that this is the colour of this is the colour of the year, the bag of the year. So Roxy, you're very on trend because this goes perfectly as well. Very on trend that you pick the colour of the year for the launch of your book. So definitely pick up that instead of like wildfire. But I just wanted to talk about. Um, I've had so many questions about this. This pairing. Sorry. I have a builder on every floor in my house, so that's what you can hear. So, that's the diary out the way. I'll link anything I can below. Lastly, I wanted to quickly unbox a project that I'm doing with Netta Porte. 
and I will leave you to have a look at these and then we'll have a two minute chat about them. I'm literally wearing them now and I'll put up some pictures here of me wearing them they look so great with a pair of joggers they look great with knitted trousers like this black leggings skinny jeans they actually are so wearable and I do miss the whole Ugg trend although I know it's back and I do like Uggs I'm not quite there yet I don't know it just reminds me so much of being a teenager and I've literally lived this trend full circle, so it just feels a bit odd to me. And I feel like these are something that's a bit more, um, like something that I haven't had before. It's the same kind of ethos as an Arg with the shielding inside. I just slip them on, They even though they're like huge moon boots, they make, the bigger the boot, the more elongating and flattering on your legs. So I'm loving them. I literally just throw them on with everything and I'm actually wearing them a lot more than I thought. So these are for sale with net porte. Um, they come in one other colour as well. So if you love a moon boot, really gorgeous collaboration with Chloe. I will link those below. They come um, like 39, 40, 40, 41. The sizes are quite odd like that. I'm a 39, 40 and I actually, actually had to send them back and get the bigger size just for size reference. So I'm conscious of how long this video is. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Any questions that you have, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to learn about the huge, huge giveaway on Thursday. Don't forget to tune in to the Luxury Promise Live Show on Friday. And anything you need to know about Dr. Marwa, feel free to um, Instagram, DM me, and I'll also share some side by side before and after images on there. So thanks so much for watching. I'd love it if you would subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video.